Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood show now here. About to give you another WWE Immortals video. In this video, we're about to do the full five battles of the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon challenge on standard difficulty. As you see right here, we have Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon and the Authority Stephanie McMahon from buying the Stephanie McMahon pack. And that video is actually doing extremely well. Now, as you can see in the store, if you buy the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon pack, you still have to do the challenge in order to buy upgrades. So a major fail on the Dean Ambrose and the Stephanie McMahon pack. It does guarantee that you get the card, but I'd rather spend the 180,000 credits and just open up challenge booster pack. However, the Authority Stephanie McMahon is available for purchase for 46,000 credits. So in the first battle of the first challenge, bronze characters are allowed in your team. Cards start off at level 1 bronze. In the first matchup, we have Strongman Big E, Giant Big Show, and Centurion Roman Reigns. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Here we go! Famous Roman Reigns and Paige starting out for my team as Big E is eliminated. The Big Show eliminated, Roman Reigns is in. Now keep in mind our Sheamus is level 49 silver, so we might actually be able to do the third battle finally in Nightmare Difficulty. 172 XP, 230 credits. In the second matchup we have Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan, Viper, Randy Orton, and Ancient Druid Sheamus. Cards gain a level of 2, skip the match is 1000 credits. This will be one for the ages. So Daniel Bryan wiped out in three shots. Sheamus comes in. Sheamus eliminated. Randy Orton is in. And Randy Orton eliminated for the victory in the second fight. 174 XP. 1,250 credits. In the third matchup, we have Pyromancer, Nikki Bella, The Demon Kane, and White Witch, Trish Stratus. Cards gain a level of 3. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. So Nikki Bella eliminated. Trish Stratus comes in. Trish Stratus barely survives four shots. Kane comes in. Sheamus' rare gear item, he has a chance of unblockable attacks, however, no crits. Only the face paint is able to do crits. 176 XP, 270 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock, which is just like Countdown and Injustice Gods Among Us. Going up against Dark Sorceress Page, Ice Witch, Brie Bella, and Centurion Roman Reigns. Cards gain a level of 4, skip the match is 1,000 credits. we go! So 2 minutes and 10 seconds to complete this fight. Paige eliminated. Brie Bella also eliminated. Roman Reigns comes in. And the Irish Curse will be enough to get rid of Roman Reigns for the victory in the 4th fight. One hundred and seventy-eight XP. 290 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Viper, Randy Orton, Ancient Druid, Sheamus, and Strongman Big E. Cards gain a level of 5. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. And here they go. Randy Orton wiped out. Big E comes in. Big E eliminated. Sheamus comes in. And Sheamus eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 180 XP. 310 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have the Giant Big Show, Pyromancer Nikki Bella, and the Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Cards gain a level of six. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. It's 
it begins. Who'll come out on top? Big Show goes down in five shots. Nikki Bella is in. Nikki Bella wiped out. Daniel Bryan comes in. Yeah, we're too far away from that Irish curse. But Daniel Bryan eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. 182 XP. 330 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Ice Witch, Brie Bella, White Witch, Trish Stratus, and the Demon K. Cards gain a level of seven. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. Yeah. 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 Brie Bella about to go down. Kane comes in. Kane eliminated. Trish Stratus comes in. Jameis almost had two bars. Thor got the beat to the Bodred, and Trish Stratus is eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. One hundred eighty-four XP, three hundred and fifty credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, Strongman Big E, and Dark Sorcerer's Page. Cards gain a level of eight. Skip the match is five thousand credits. Let's get it going. Ah. Ah. Challenge is Poison Cloud, only hitting Seamus for 6 health, so it's a very weak Poison Cloud. Big E wiped out, Paige comes in. Not this place pose any threat, there's the Irish Curse, Paige eliminated. And Daniel Bryan eliminated for the victory in the 8th fight. 186 XP, 370 credits. And we received three stamina cards. In the ninth matchup, we have Ancient Druid Sheamus, Centurion Roman Reigns, and Viper Randy Orton. Cards gain a level of nine. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sheamus eliminated. Roman Reigns is in. Roman Reigns eliminated. Randy Orton comes in, and we got the Irish Curse, which will be enough to get rid of him for the victory in the night fight as the Jolly Green Giant gets wiped out. 188 XP. 390 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Giant Big Show, The Demon Kane, and Pyromancer Nikki Bella. Cards gain a level of 10. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. Well, the Big Show eliminated. Kane comes in. Kane is also eliminated, and we're gonna have the Irish curse. Nikki Bella is eliminated for the victory in the time fight. 190 XP, 410 credits. So we're gonna have to make a quick roster change for the final two fights. We're gonna Big put in e. Strongman Big E. We're gonna put in Ice Witch Brie Bella. Daniel and we're going to put in the Yes Movement Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan. We're going to give Daniel Bryan the face paint, also known as the Tribal War paint. Daniel we're not going to worry about the other two. In the 11th matchup, we have Ice Witch, Brie Bella, Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan, and Ancient Druid Sheamus. Cards gain a level 11. Skip a match is 10,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Daniel Bryan not as hard of a hitter as Sheamus. This is the highest damage bronze card in the game, I believe. Uh, 
Yeah. Daniel Bryan about to go down. Dragon Screw blocked for 52. And Daniel Bryan wiped out. Sheamus comes in. We got the airplane spin, and Sheamus is eliminated for the victory in the 11th fight. Ninety two XP, four hundred and thirty credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle going up against White Witch Trish Stratus, Viper Randy Orton, and Strongman Big E. Cards gain a level of twelve. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Let's get it going. <laughs> Trish Stratus eliminated, Randy Orton is in. And Brie Bella comes in before we can get off the level one move. Pick up a Hurricanrana on Randy Orton. We'll see if that's enough to get rid of him. Yes, it is. Hit for about 500. And we have a big E duel down, so we have two guys who are black. Strongman Crush into a Strongman Crush. For about 300. And we're gonna go Dragon Screw and Big E is eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 194 XP. 2,950 credits. So the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Challenge Battle 1 on standard difficulty is completed. And in the second challenge, the rock must be on your team. So we're gonna have to. Give him one stamina for at least one fight. The Rock. We're going to put in Stone Watcher the Rock, and Stone, I think we're going to put in Stone, 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 Stone Cold Steve Austin, Steve for the Austin. first 10 to 11 fights. We're going to give Stone Cold the Tribal War Paint and the Inner Beast. Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Ice Bomb Steve Watcher Austin. Stone Cold. I think we're just going to give him the Ultimate WrestleMania gear. Stone Cold, Steve Austin. And the Stone Watcher the Rock. We are going to give him the Magic Mirror, which is fixed now and actually does what it's supposed to do for Adrenaline. The Rock. So the second challenge of the Rock must be on your team. One challenge currency, one stamina per fight. In the first matchup, we have Giant Big Show, Dark Sorceress Page, and the Demon King. Cards start off at level 11 bronze. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Stone Cold is considered go. a tank card in both silver and gold. However, Stone Cold has the most health in the silver bracket at 500 base. I believe Stone Cold has 1,200, which is matched by the new Big Show. And Paige also wiped out for the victory in the first fight. 192 XP, 240 credits. In the second matchup, we have Centurion Roman Reigns, Strongman Big E, and Ice Witch Brie Bella. Cards gain a level of 12. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. And here they go. Stone Cold wipes out Roman Reigns in three shots, almost wipes out Brie Bella. Big E comes in. And Big E sent back to the ghetto for the victory in the second fight. 194 XP. 260 credits. I kind of find it funny that all these silver portraits actually have real face resemblances and the gold ones are just superhero and totally fake. Kind of funny though. In the third matchup, we have White Witch Trish Stratus, Pyromancer Nikki Bella, and the Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Cards gain a level of 13. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. And also the bronze variants seem to as well. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. I really like the look on Silver Stone Cold. I can't stand the face on the gold one. So Nikki Bella eliminated. Daniel Bryan comes in and also gets wiped out for the victory in the third fight. 196 XP, 280 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against Ancient Druid Sheamus, Giant Big Show, and the Demon King. 
cards gain a level of 14, and skip the match is 1,000 credits. And here they go. Shame is wiped out, the Big Show comes in. Only for two health, the Big Show gets wiped out. And Kane is eliminated for the victory in the fourth play. As that regeneration was extremely slow. 198 XP, 300 credits. In the fifth match, oh, we have Ice Witch, Bree Bella, Viper, Ramjorn, and Centurion Roman Reigns. Cards gain a level of 15. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Bree Bella eliminated. Randy Orton comes in and gets wiped out. And Roman Reigns also eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. Now keep in mind, Daniel Bryan is the first ever level 50 and the first Elite 7 card I have. However, John Cena Evolved is the second card I have at level 50. And the third one appears to be Silver Sheamus, followed by either Kane or Paige. 200 XP, 320 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Dark Sorceress Paige, Pyromancer Nikki Bella, and Strongman Big E. Cards gain a level of 16. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Let's get it going. Paige eliminated. Big E comes in. Big E's about to go down. Nikki Bella comes in. And Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. 202 XP, 4,340 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Giant Big Show, Ancient Druid Sheamus, and White Witch Trish Stratus. Cards gain a low of 17. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Here we go! The Big Show is about to go down. Trish Stratus comes in. Trish Stratus eliminated. Sheamus comes in. Run for the road on Sheamus. And a beer can in the face. Sheamus wiped out for the victory in the seventh fight. 204 XP. As Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold does hit level 29, 360 credits, gaining a whopping 61 damage, actually 71 damage, and 275 health. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Fatigue, going up against Viper, Randy Orton, Centurion, Roman Reigns, and the Demon King. Cards gain a level of 18, skip the match is 5,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. Randy Orton about to go down. Roman Reigns is in. Kane comes in. Kane is eliminated. Roman Reigns is in. This appears to be a weak dampening field as Stone Cold already at two bars. Good. Block that Superman punch for 63. Anti-hero triggers. He is angry. Bring out the Stone Cold Stunner, and Roman Reigns is eliminated. And that's the bottom line. 5,040 damage for the victory in the eighth fight. 206 XP. 380 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Strongman Big E, Pyromancer Nikki Bella, and the Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Cards gain a level of 19, and the right card gains a promotion to Legendary 1. Skip of the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Big E is eliminated. Nikki Bella is in. 
Nikki Bella quickly wiped out. Daniel Bryan comes in. One for the road, block for 118. And Daniel Bryan eliminated for the victory in the ninth play. 208 XP. 400 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Ice Witch, Brie Bella, The Demon Kane, and Ancient Druid Sheamus. Cards gain a level at 20. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. Brie Bella eliminated. Kane comes in. Kane also eliminates. Sheamus comes in. And a one for the world will get rid of Sheamus. Still has a victory in the 10th fight. Turner and 10 XP. 420 credits. So we're going to have to make a roster change, but leave The Rock in. I think we're going to put Rock, in Cyborg Lester, Brock Lesnar and Evolve Daniel Bryan. Daniel Daniel Bryan. Bryan. Daniel I think we'll leave Bryan. the training dummy on. So we're going to have to recharge The Rock. In the 11th matchup, we have White Witch Trish Stratus, Centurion Roman Reigns, and Giant Big Show. Cards gain a level of 21, and the right card gains a promotion to Legendary 2. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Here we go! The interesting thing about the new patch is that they actually added stun components on combo enders, which are actually a lot of fun when they actually go off. You have a very small window on getting attacks off when the opponent is stunned, so you have to be super quick, and instead of knocking the opponent down or giving them the option to light attack, you'll just see the stun animation. Cobra Club Slam is going to connect on Daniel Bryan. Everybody got the yes, yes, yes. The giant Big Show is eliminated. Eight thousand seventy-three damage for the victory in the eleventh fight. Two hundred twelve XP. Four hundred forty credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle going up against Viper Randy Orton, Strongman Big E, and Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Cards gain a level of 22. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. Rain, you are eliminated. Daniel Bryan is in. Strongman Big E comes in. Daniel Bryan at one bar. Brock Lesnar comes in. Saw the chance for unblockable attacks there. The Rock comes in. Dragon Screw into an electrifying suplex, and Daniel Bryan should be eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. Two hundred fourteen XP, four hundred sixty credits. So the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Challenge Battle 2 on standard difficulty is completed. And now we have a bronze booster pack. Inside we receive and connect established connection to the internet. Claim rewards by establishing an internet connection and restarting the app. We actually had our Wi-Fi off, unfortunately. That's why I had to kick it in. So in the bronze booster pack, we receive a Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, Timba, which is the Lumberjack Big Show's level 2 move. And Dragon Screw, which is Daniel Bryan's level 1 move. In the third challenge, only bronze or silver characters are on your team, which also includes Stormwatch and the Rock. We're going to put Brock in Beast Lesner. Incarnate Brock Lesnar. We are going to put in Soldier John, John Cena. Cena. K and we're going to put Brock in the Demon Lesner. Kane. We're going to give Brock Lesnar some damage gear. We're going to give him the Inner Beast, the Celtic Pendant, and the Tribal War Paint. Brock Lesnar. I don't think we're going to worry about anybody else. In the first matchup, we have Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Stone Watcher of the Rock, and Soldier John Cena. Cards start off at level 1 silver. 
Skip the match is 5,000 credits. And it should be interesting to see if Dean Ambrose actually pops up in the third, fourth, or fifth battle. Let's get it going. Since he's actually not supposed to be available, he probably won't be, even in the Dean Ambrose challenge. So the Rock eliminated and Nikki Bella gets wiped out. John Cena comes in. And John Cena eliminated for the victory in the first fight as Conqueror reigns supreme. Eat, sleep, slash people, repeat. 212 XP. 250 credits. In the second matchup, we have Dead Man Undertaker, Arena Ultimate Warrior, and the Authority Stephanie the Man, and Dean Ambrose is available in the third fight. Cards gain a level of two. Skip of the match is 5,000 credits. You see, the Ultimate Warrior actually, I think, has the most damage in the silver, if I'm not mistaken, at 500 base. Well, it could be at 490. I'm not exactly sure. So the Dead Man Undertaker triggers. The Dead Man is eliminated. Ultimate Warrior comes in. Adrenaline Game does nothing to save him. 50% increased damage. We got the Ground and Pound, and Stephanie McMahon is eliminated. Thank God she's wearing panties for the victory in the second fight. Looks like Granny Panties up. 214 XP. 270 credits. In the third matchup, we have Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Lunar Guardian Brie Bella. Cards gain a level of 3, skip the match is 5,000 credits. So for Dean Ambrose, we're actually going to put Kane in, as I want to see what his level 1 and 2 moves actually and are, here they go. if we can get that off. Probably the best way to do that is by letting him tag out after he takes some damage. We're going to make sure we don't wipe out Dean Ambrose. Fury Smackdown blocked for 75. We probably should have took that instead of blocking it just to see what the animation looks like. Dean Ambrose starting to take some damage from Kane. He has some hardcore weapons on him. There's the Fury Smackdown. This time we take it. Looks like a five hit smack. So we're going to soften him up. I think that's enough. Stone Cold comes in. Went for the road block for 45. We're just going to sit here until Dean Ambrose gets up the two bars. I really want to see what his level two moves capable of. First, you're going to get off the choke slam from hell and get rid of Stone Cold. You will face the demon so Br Brie Bella with the moon shield is in. Hurricane Rana is going to be taken on purpose. Dean Ambrose back to one bar. Mickey Bella trying to take pot shots of Kane and not really doing a lot of damage since he's only a level three silver card. We're gonna get John Cena in prematurely. Gotta wait till Dean Ambrose hits two bars. Then we're gonna offer attitude adjustment. Take that hurt to run as well. Only does 176, barely touching John Cena's bar. So Dean Ambrose extremely close to two bars. Actually, I don't think he is since he can only get up to one bar at level three. That was stupidity. So the attitude adjustment will get rid of Brie Bell. Hustle, loyalty, respect. And the F5 will eradicate. Dean Ambrose, and if we see him in a later battle, we will try to get him up to two bars and see what his level two move looks like. Get ready. 3,747 damage for the victory in the third fight. 216 XP, 290 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush going up against Pantheon Big E, Banshee Knight Page, and Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. As you see in the sixth fight, he is available, so we're going to try again. Cards get a level of four. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Yeah. <laughs> 
So Pinky eliminated, Paige comes in. I really wish I'd make that Cocker buff permanent. I think that would make it a lot more useful. In its current state, it's actually pretty weak. Paige eliminated. Brock Lesnar at two bars. I'm gonna take that ground and pound on purpose. And this one is for the guy that said you should use less super moves. I actually use more when people start complaining. So we get off the F5 and Brock Lesnar eliminates himself. Get ready. 3,747 damage for the victory in the fourth fight. 218 XP. 310 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have the Authority Triple H, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Soldier John Cena. Cards getting a level of five. Skip the matches now. 10,000 credits. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Triple H getting pummeled really quickly. Gets eliminated. John Cena is in. John Cena about to go down. There he goes. Stone Cold comes in. Went for the road block for 46. We got the digital rage. And Stone Cold eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 120 XP, 330 credits. Now we're going to make a roster change. We're we'll putting Lunar Bella. Guardian Brie Bella. We're going to put in Solar Bella. Assassin Nikki Page, Bella. And we're going to put in Paige. And we're going to give her some power generation gear. So we're going to give her the Magic Mirror. We're going to give her the Raven's Feather and the Toma Duo Magic. Even though the Raven's Feather has no power generation, has some extremely good abilities. Including life steal chance on signature one. Page. So in the sixth matchup, we have Stone Watcher the Rock, Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, and Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose. Cards gain a level of six. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. And what we're going to do for the start is we're going to let the Rock pummel on us for a bit and get up to two bars on Dean Ambrose this before will be one for the ages. we start dealing damage. As I want to see what his level two move is capable of. Paige is going to take some damage. That's okay. But she can probably life steal it back. So Paige at two bars. The Rock at one bar. Dean Ambrose at one bar. Electrifying suplex block for 91. As you can see by the stun, you have a lot less time to react to it, so you pretty much have to be right on the ball with your own guy. You can't tag people in and get special moves off somebody else's move. Electrifying suplex block for 91. Waiting to see if Dean Ambrose can get the two bars. There he is. So we're going to go Banshee Rage on the rock. Couple heals for Paige. But Dean Ambrose is in. We're going to see if he uses a level 2 move. There's the comeback clothesline. Okay, hit for about a thousand damage. So a two hit move. We're going to get off the Paige Turner and back alley brawler Dean Ambrose is eliminated. Gotta love that Dean Ambrose tattoo on his right shoulder, which he normally doesn't have. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 76, but that's cool artwork by Warner Brothers. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 106. And we're going to go off some twin magic. The Rock is eliminated. Remo! And if one twin magic wasn't enough, we're going to go off a second one. And Nikki Bella is eliminated. I make it look easy. 3,552 damage for the victory in a sixth fight. 222 XP, 6,350 credits. As that almost puts us at 300,000. 
In the seventh matchup, we have Banshee Knight Page, Dead Man Undertaker, and Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Cards gain a level of seven. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. <laughs> Page had a bar and a half, the other page had one bar. Benji Ray blocked for 109. Page eliminates. Seamus comes in. Dark Throne will heal Page up. The stun still does work if you get off a move quickly enough. And a Banshee Rage on Seamus will put him at half a bar. Also does heal Paige for 165. Undertaker is in. Seamus got wiped out. Trump Slam blocked for 102. And the Banshee Rage on the Undertaker should be enough to put him at his dead mark. Actually, not quite, because he has a lot more health. Free Bella is in. Choke Slam blocked for 91. There's the dead man. That Choke Slam is going to connect. But we're going to go off the Twin Magic again, and the Undertaker is eliminated. I make it look 3,183 damage for the victory in the seventh fight. 224 XP, 370 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, the Authority Stephanie McMahon, and Pantheon Big E. Cards gain a level of eight. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Huh. Brock Lesnar gets stunned. Health search for about 6 health. Ground and pound is going to connect. Pretty much put Paige on 2 bars up. That's where the multi-hit level 1 moves can be actually more harmful to the person using them than the person taking the damage. Because that power generation can be a huge deal. Brock Lesnar eliminated. We're going to go the Paige Turner before Stephanie McMahon can soak her granny panties. Strongman Crush block for 130. And the 100% damage does nothing when the opponent gets knocked out. So we're going to go the Banshee Rage on Big E. Not quite enough to get rid of him. Right, Nikki Bella comes in. Now right, we're going the Burning Dagger Barrage. Big E is eliminated for the victory in the 8th fight. And 26 XP, 390 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Arena Ultimate Warrior, Lunar Guardian, Brie Bella, and the Authority Triple H. Cards gain a level of nine, so the match is 15,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Ultimate Warrior gets stunned. Warrior Rage blocked for 101. And Health Gain is triggered. That's actually the better of the two effects, in my opinion. Unless you have Team Healing Gear on your special one. Triple H comes in. Interrupting his Health Gain. Triple H stunned and Page at 2 bar. It looks like it's going to go on Brie Bella. Neckbuster block for 136. Triple H eliminate. Ultimate Warrior comes back in. He is at about half time. However, he's also at two bars. Ha! 
Ultimate War Eliminate Moon Shield Trigger. Now, we're just gonna go up the Page Turner anyways, and Brie Bella should be eliminated or really low on life. Think again. Barely survived that. Seductive Dance will not save her. And we wipe out Brie Bella for the victory in the ninth fight. 228 XP. 410 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, and Banshee Knight Page. Cards gain a level of 10. The middle card has one promotion. As you see, Stone Cold still has more health than Dean Ambrose, so he appears to be a higher damage but low health card. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Let's get it going! Ha, ha, ha. Stone Cold at one bar, one for the road, block for 103. That's called Vengeance Trigger, so the next special will have a 50% lifesteal attached to it. Page over two bars. Stone Cold might get eliminated before using a special. There you go. Banshee Rage Block. And we're gonna go the Paige Turner, and Paige eliminates herself. Think again. Dean Ambrose is in. So he's got a fast, lighter, heavy attack. Here, SmackDown does connect. So this is why you use the stun mechanic, is you can get off a of Banshee Rage without getting blocked. Again, two procs on the life scale, although that one only hits with 75. So taking reduced damage is the passive for Dean Ambrose. I'm not sure if it's as he takes more damage, higher mitigation. Now only get a hit for 27, 54. I'm going to go for another Banshee Rage. Dean Ambrose should be eliminated for the victory in the 10th fight. <laughs> 230 XP. 430 credits. So we're going to make another roster change. We're going to put in Big Champion e. Big E. We are going to put in Stephanie the authority McMahon. Stephanie McMahon. And we're going to put in Ultimate Arena Warrior. Ultimate Warrior. And the reason we put Ultimate these three Warrior. cards in is because Ultimate these are Ultimate the Warrior. three newest cards within the latest patch, 1.3 and 1.4. We're going to give the Ultimate Warrior Tribal War Ultimate pen. Warrior. Big E. And we're going to give Pantheon Big E the Celtic Pen. We're not going to worry about Big Stephanie e. because her stats are much lower. In the 11th matchup, we have Celtic Warrior Seamus, Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, and Stone Watcher The Rock. Cards gain a level 11. The middle card still has one promotion. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. And here they go. Ultimate Warrior has the most interesting light attack. Actually kind of stupid, but it's funny at the same time. Keep in mind, every hit also generates power, so it's kind of a six-hit light combo. Irish Curse hits for 871. That's quite a bit of damage to the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior, two bars. Irish Curse blocked for 156. Game is eliminated, the rock comes in. Electrifying suplex might get rid of the warrior. No, it does not. But the health gain triggers. Almost puts it back at top cap health. Electrifying suplex into the warrior press. Enough to get rid of the rock. 
A big E almost at two wide. Any jawbreaker block for 121. Now we have found Stephanie McMahon's pass would be one of the most useful ones as long as she doesn't go down. So to make sure she doesn't do that, putting blocking gear on her is actually pretty beneficial. Spinning jump breaker into the big ending, and Nikki Bella is gonna get hit by tons. Almost reminds me of the You wanna fight, little man? Avengers movies where people are trying to pick up Thor's hammer and can't do it. 232 XP, 450 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock going up against Soldier John Cena, Dead Man Undertaker, and Pantheon Big E. Cards gain a level of 12. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Undertaker has about 4,000 health versus 2,600 on John Cena. You can see the big difference in health. It begins. Who'll come out on top? Now, Ultimate Warrior is a slower attacker, but he can generate a decent amount of power with his light attack. I still think that Silver Sheamus is the most efficient damage dealer because his heavy attack is much faster. That's why I really don't find the Ultimate Warrior to be that impressive. I got the Ruthless Assault on the Undertaker. Chokes away at him for about 2,000 damage. Last ride blocked for 177. Get Stephanie McMahon and it takes some damage on her. So we're gonna go the billion dollar smack on the Undertaker. And throw that money at him. As if he needs it. John Cena, Cena Plex blocked for 185. We're gonna take that one on purpose. 50% so increased damage. Undertaker comes in after Cena gets wiped out. Now we're at 100% damage. Big E comes in. His eyes look like he's been smoking weed. Undertaker eliminates. Strongman crush into the big ending, and Big E eliminates himself. It's on! 6,528 damage for the victory in the 12th fight. 234 XP as Stephanie McMahon hits level 13. 470 credits. So the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Challenge Battle 3 on standard difficulty is completed. And we receive a whopping 15,000 credits for completing 3 fights. In the 4th challenge, Triple H must be on your team. And there's some really good synergy with Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon. With Triple H, who has three variants. We're going to use the authority H. Triple H first. Uh, I'm pretty sure Randy that the Orton. rival, yep, Randy rival Orton. ally was Stephanie McMahon, but both of them are allies with Triple H, so it really doesn't matter. We're going to give them the Tackle Vest, Tribal War Paint, and the Celtic Pendant. Randy Orton. So in the first matchup, we have Banshee Knight Page, Dead Man Undertaker, and the Authority Triple H. Cards start off at level 11 silver. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Now Stephanie will only be able to do three fights. So we'll have to swap her out after a couple. Here so Randy Orton starts with one bar because of silver or gold Stephanie McMahon's passive. Page quickly wiped out. Triple H comes in. Triple H eliminated. Undertaker is in. Dead man triggered. And the Undertaker eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 232 XP. 260 credits. In the second matchup, we have Celtic Warrior Sheamus, Stone Watcher of the Rock, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. Cards remain at level 11. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. 
Shane is wiped out. The rock comes in. And the rock goes down. Oh, the warrior comes in. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, as the Ultimate Warrior is eliminated. Get a look at great 9,053 damage for the victory in the second fight. 234 XP. 280 credits. In the third matchup, we have Soldier John Cena, Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, and the Authority Stephanie McMahon. I think we're going to save Stephanie McMahon's stamina so she can go in the 12th fight against herself. Cards gain one level of 12, so the match is 5,000 credits. Seems like the cards are gaining levels a lot slower in the fourth challenge. I wonder what they'll max out at. Let's get it going. So we got Big E now in the fight, who is black. John Cena eliminates. Stephanie McMahon comes in. Got those heroin eyes. And she's going to get wiped out. Dean Ambrose is in. And Dean Ambrose slapped in the face for the victory in the third fight. 236 XP. 300 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud going up against Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and Icebound Watcher Stone Cold. Cards remain at level 12. Skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. And here they go! Brie Bella gets out. Brock Lesnar comes in. I wasn't calling only hitting Rain Warren for 35, which is pretty weak. Ice Cold Vengeance, we're going to go for Venomous Backbreaker, get rid of Stone Cold. Moonshield will not save Brie Bella for the victory in the fourth fight. 238 XP, 320 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Pantheon Big E, the Authority Triple H, and Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Cards gain a level of 13. So the match is 10,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Big E is in who is black. Big E eliminated. Triple H comes in. Triple H eliminated. Sheamus comes in. Put him as backbreaker block. And Sheamus is eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 240 XP. 340 credits. We're going to make an official roster change. We're going to put in Evolve Bryan. Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan. Yes, movement Daniel Bryan. And we're going to put Triple in... H. Triple H. King of Kings Triple H. Daniel Skull Bryan. King only has enough for four fights. i take that training dummy off him, which actually isn't good by itself, and put in the Tribal War pick. Daniel Bryan. So in the sixth matchup, we have Arena Ultimate Warrior, Banshee Knight Page, and the Authority Stephanie McMahon. I think I'd rather, rather have Triple H in first, who's double rivals. And we're going to give him the inner beast. Triple H. And the cards remain at level 13. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. So Triple H does a lot more damage than Daniel Bryan. Although I think Skull King does Let's about the rolling. same as Triple H, if not more. The adrenaline gain really doesn't do anything for the Warrior. Page comes in. And Paige is eliminated. Keep in mind, when the opponent gets knocked out, they actually lose half a bar of power. Although it doesn't seem like it happens when you're on the recipient end of it. Ever to go off the Spine Buster, Stephanie McMahon is eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. Two hundred and forty-two XP, eight thousand three hundred and sixty credits. 
the seventh matchup, we have Deadman, Undertaker, Solar Assassin, Nikki Bella, and Back Alley Brawler, Dean Ambrose. Cards gain a low of 14. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. Oh, Triple H has that huge nose, just like in real life. So there's the dead man. Choke slam block for 202. Undertaker eliminated. Rise up, Nikki Bella. So Dean Ambrose is in. He actually takes less damage when he tags in. It's kind of like a moon shield slash big defense. Furious Smackdown will put Triple H at three bars. Dean Ambrose is eliminated. We're going to get off the Sledgehammer pedigree, and Nikki Bella is eliminated. You will get the chance. 9,530 damage for the victory in the set of five. 244 XP, 380 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle going up against Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, Soldier John Cena, and Stone Watcher The Rock. Cards remain at level 14. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. <laughs> So the bronze Daniel Bryan comes in, one for the road, block for 163. Stone Cold yeah. eliminate, John Cena comes in. And the gold Daniel Bryan is in. John Cena close to two bars. Five knuckle shuffle block for 297. John Cena eliminated. Let's just find suplex block for 212. Now we're to go off the sledgehammer pedigree. Stone Watcher of the Rock is eliminated. I am the 9,530 damage for the victory in the eighth fight. 246 XP, 400 credits. In the 11th, or in the 9th matchup, we have Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, Arena Ultimate Warrior, and Pantheon Big E. Cards gain a level of 15, and the right card gains a promotion of Legendary 1. Skip the matches now, 15,000 credits. Let's get it going! <laughs> So Brock Lesnar eliminated the ultimate warrior comes in. Adrenaline gain for the ultimate warrior does not do anything. And Big E comes in. Strongman crush into a spine buster, and Big E is eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. Two hundred forty-eight XP, four hundred twenty credits. In the tenth matchup, we have Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, Dead Man Undertaker, and Banshee Knight Page. Cards remain at level fifteen, but the promotion switches to the left card. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. And here they go. The Undertaker is in. Dead man triggers on the Undertaker, putting him at two bars. Trump slam block for 209. Page comes in. Oh, 
Banshee Rage block for 241. Bree Bella is in. We're going to go through Sledgehammer Pedigree and get rid of Bree Bella, even with the moon slip. Four thousand seven hundred sixty-five damage for the victor in the town fight. Two hundred fifty XP. Four hundred forty credits. So we're going to make a roster change. We are going to put in Dark Page. Sorceress Page. We're going to put in the Viper Orton. Randy Orton. And we're going to put in Sculpting Triple H. In case we get Shuffle, we're actually going to put the Magic Mirror on Randy, Randy Orton and Orton. Tri for an RKO. Triple H. And with the Skull King Triple H, we're going to give him the Tribal War Paint. Triple H. So in the 11th matchup, we have Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the Authority Stephanie McMahon, and the Authority Triple H. Cards gain a level of 16. The left card still has that promotion. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Randy Yorton looks horny in that picture. Seamus is about to go down. Stephanie McMahon comes in. Now you only take the poison damage on tagging in when you actually tag yourself in, not when you get eliminated. Here pull Snapmare blocks for 235. Now an 100% increased damage. Stephanie doesn't want to tag out. He's going to knock her out. Triple H comes in. And the Burning Blast is going to connect on Triple H. That is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 11th fight. 252 XP. 460 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush going up against Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Solar Assassin Nikki Bella. Cards remain at level 16. Skip the match, it's 15,000 credits. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Dean Ambrose only taking like half damage from basic attacks. Very SmackDown block for 322. Actually, don't know how long that passive last way. It looks like quite a while. Very SmackDown is going to connect. Stone Cold is taking damage because of Skull King Triple H's passive. Ice Cold Strike is going to connect. Let's do a little bit of damage on Triple H. But we're going to go the Sledgehammer Pedigree, and Stone Cold is eliminated. You will get the chance. Nikki Bella comes in. Randy Orton is at two bars. Ian Ambrose comes back in. Looks like that poison damage does not get mitigated by Dean Ambrose's passive, so it might only be on basic attacks. Here's to be how it works, so Nikki Bella is back in. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as Nikki Bella is eliminated. I always strike 2548 damage for the victory in the 12th fight. 254 XP. 480 credits. So the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Challenge Battle 4 on standard difficulty is completed. And now we have a silver booster pack. Inside we receive a Pantheon Big E, which I believe is his second promotion, Celtic Cross, which is Sheamus' attack boost, and King's Authority, which is Triple H's attack boost. So in the fifth challenge, the stinky fat Big Show must be on your team. We're going to start show. off with the giant Big Show. We're going to put Bree in Ice Witch Bree Bella. And we're going to put in Page, Evolve Page. Page. And we're going to give Paige some gear. We're going to give her the 
Ultimate WrestleMania 2015 gear. We're going to give her the Magic Mirror. And we're going to give her the Raven's Feather. Page. So in the first matchup, we have Enlightened Big Show, Stone Watcher the Rock, and Pantheon Big E. The gold card starts out at level 10, and the silver cards start off at level 12. Let's give the match is 10,000 credits. Now, Enlightened Big Show is actually a massive health card at 1,200 base, and his passive I have found to be exceptionally good, especially when you combine it with blocking gear, as it'll make some of the extremely difficult to get wiped out, and the Big Show gear in him is actually tailored for blocking as well. Now, unfortunately, they did nerf the champion's helmet, so you can't give off team heals on special twos, but you do have a chance to get off the heal, a personal heal on special one, which actually works out just as well. Promo Clutch Slam blocked for 414. Throwing off the Banshee Raid, we've got blocked. Electrifying Suplex is going to connect for 437. Cobra Cup Slam blocked into a Cyber Stray clothesline on the Big Show. That is enough to get rid of him, even with the healing. So now the next level 1 move will actually heal Paige for quite a bit. That hit for 793, so it looks like the Rock is on steroids right now. Kick Rock. Look out the Banshee Rage on the Rock. And the Rock is eliminated with that big heal at the end for the victory in the first fight. 252 XP, 270 credits. When you actually have Evolve Page up there at high levels, because of the magical synergy, it's extremely hard to even do damage to her, especially when she has that level 2 buff on her level 1. In the second fight, we have Soldier John Cena, Evolve Page, and Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Silver cards gain a level of 13, and the gold card is in the middle slot. Let's give the match is 10,000 credits. And here they go. The Farm Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon did not really be that good of a card. Her Batgirl-like effect, giving everybody a bar of card, can be really good, but there are definitely better cards out there. However, I do feel Evolve Page and Enlightened Big Show are two cards that you really need to focus on getting up as quickly as possible. But I really think they're good cards. As far as the Ultimate Warrior goes, he does have some usefulness. He does do some good damage, but I think Evolve Page is one of the better gold cards out there because of her utility heals on her level 1 move. So Sheamus comes in. Not sure if we're going to be able to get to one bar or not. I'm going to try as I want to get off another one of those moves. What noise blocked for 193? And we've got the Banshee Rage on Sheamus that will be enough to get rid of him for the victory in the second fight. And once again, a couple big heals there. It looked like a crit on special one, and keep in mind that is also more healing. 254 XP, 290 credits. Now, a quick look at why I geared up Page like this. The Ultimate WrestleMania gear has crit chance on Signature 1 and Adrenaline Drain on Signature 1. And Page already has that, so adding crit chance on Signature 1 is really good. And we could probably get it elsewhere. Magic Mirror has power generation and the Raven's Feather Lifesteal Chance on Signature 1. If we forge it up, you get another 1.2% chance, so fully evolved, 50% chance to Lifesteal on Signature 1. And then when you combine that with Page's hey. passive ability, which also gains 50% Life Drain from the next Signature 1, which is pretty much guaranteed. And when you increase the damage of Signature 2 by... 33% with the signature one, you can actually get some really cool effects. And if you have a way to heal up with the special two, like for example, the champion's helmet, you can actually pull off some crazy combos as well. So as you can see, 8% chance to heal self 10% on signature one. I actually changed that one. I think there are still some heals on signature two though. 
So in the third matchup, we have the Authority Stephanie McMahon, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Skull King Triple H. Super cards gain a level 14, the gold card gains a level to 11, and shifts over to the right slot. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. This is why I really it enjoy begins. playing Evolve we'll Pages from Prime Gear. And hope people are ready for the next multiplayer gear season. That should be a lot of fun. I believe it's the Money in the Bank gear item. It's kind of nice to release one for every pay-per-view. And Justice actually got the Hidden Stick, which is actually a lot of fun to use. It's different, it's power generation, it's really good base advantage on special 1 and 2. And I think it's really good for Martian Manhunter as well, because if he gets off a stun, it does some nice damage. So Triple H is taking some damage. Stone Cold comes in. And we're going to go off the Page Turner. Stone Cold should be eliminated after the Ice Cold Strike pretty much does no damage. And if you want to see some crazy stuff, wait till you see the Big Show blocking with all of his blocking gear. Face Buster blocked for 463. And Skull King Triple H eliminated for the victory in the third fight. And she kind of gave her own high knee there. 256 XP, 310 credits. So we're going to make a roster change. We're going to put in Big Lumberjack Big Show. We're going to put in Macho man, King macho and man, Renegade Macho, macho man. man. So we're going to give the Macho Man some damage gear. We're going to give him the Celtic Pendant, Inner Beast, and Tribal War Paint. Macho Man, Big Show. And we're going to give Lumberjack Big Show, who already has all the blocking gear. And in bonus macho battle six, man. I've actually had specials hitting for like 20 damage. No joke. Macho it's Man. It's that ridiculous. Which is why they need to actually change how much damage you take while blocking as you can still actually do bonus battle six if you properly gear up by putting damage gear on one guy with wrestlemania gear and then putting a shit ton of blocking gear on somebody like the big show so in the fourth challenge matchup we have challenge doom clock going up against angelic knight trish stratus solar assassin nikki bella and dead man undertaker Brun for the silver cards gain a level of 15 and the gold card shifts to the left slot so the match is 10,000 credits This will be one for the ages. Yeah. So two minutes and 25 seconds to complete the challenge. Chris Strat is eliminated. Undertaker is in. So the Undertaker's dead man triggers. Choke slam blocked for 176, and Nikki Bella is in. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 141 and Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 258 XP, 330 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Jungle Ultimate Warrior, Back Alley Brawler, Dean Ambrose, and Banshee Knight Page. All cards gain a level of 12 and 16. Let's give the match is 15,000 credits. Let's get it going. The Ultimate Warrior eliminated. Dean Ambrose comes in. Very SmackDown is going to connect on the Macho Man. Man pretty much at three bars. So Paige comes in. Banshee Rage block. We're going to go off the elbow drop and get rid of Paige. I'm the champion now. 260 XP. 350 credits. 
In the sixth matchup, we have Hound of Justice, Roman Reigns, the Authority, Triple H, and Pantheon Big E. The gold card gains a level of 13, the silver cards gain a level of 17. Let's give the match is 15,000 credits. Let's get rolling. So Big E comes in. Triple H also comes in and Big E gets wiped out. Now we're gonna get the big show in. He's not gonna be a special. Superman Punch blocked for five damage. Yes, you saw that. Five damage. Superman Punch blocked for 361. So you see the difference a bunch of blocking gear makes. Five damage versus 361. We're going to try to get Roman Reigns up to one bar. Now we're hoping he does a special. Superman Punch blocked for two damage. Everyone got the KO Punch. Hound of Justice Roman Reigns is eliminated. You wish you were 6,468 damage for the victory in the sixth fight. 262 XP, 370 credits. So as you can see, blocking in its current state is totally overpowered. You can mitigate like 99% of the damage that you take especially with the big defense, so there's no way Lumberjack Big Show can actually die if you have some sort of healing on him. Roman we're going to put Reigns. in Hound of Justice Roman Reigns, and we're going to put in the Rock. Stone Watch of the Rock. Roman Reigns. We're going to give Roman Reigns some damage here. We're going to give him the Inner Beast and the Tribal War Pack. Roman Reigns. And we're going to recharge Lumberjack Big Show twice. In the seventh matchup, we have Celtic Warrior Sheamus, Lunar Guardian Brie Bella and Evolve Daniel Bryan. Silver cards gain a level of 18. The gold card shifts over to the right slot, gains a level of 14. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Watch out! This one's gonna be brutal! Sheamus gets off the Irish curse on Roman Reigns. That hits for about a thousand damage. But Daniel Bryan is it. Getting off the machine gun barrage and evolved Daniel Bryan should be eliminated. Actually, he might be able to barely survive that. Dragon Screw blocked for one damage. Daniel Bryan eliminated. <laughs> Homer Clutch Slam blocked, but heals for 1,265, as that Champion's Helmet does give a chance to heal on Special 1. The so Hurricane Runner blocked for 159 on Roman Reigns. It's now taking 9 damage after the Payback Gear goes away. Hurricane Runner blocked for 2 damage. And Br Brie Bella eliminated for the victory. 264 XP, 390 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against Stone Watcher the Rock, King of Kings Triple H, and Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Gold card shifts to the middle slot, and all cards gain a level of 19 on the silver and 15 on the gold. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. So you can already see the ridiculous amount of mitigation the Big Show has while blocking, and that big defense makes it even this more one for the annoying to deal with. Because you could have a 10,000 damage move mitigated to about 3,000, meaning that he has like 97 and 99% mitigation while that big defense is up. And the payback gear isn't even fully evolved yet. That's the scary part. 
Face Buster is going to connect. Hits for 1929. Actually, I like this background. Ground and Pound is also going to connect on Roman Reigns with a put him at two and a half bars. Roman Reigns at three bars. Ground and Pound blocked for one damage. Spine Buster blocked for four damage. And the Cobra Clutch Slam is blocked. Triple H eliminated. Ground and Pound blocked. Cobra Clutch Slam on. Rock Lesnar will be enough to get rid of. And we're going to go off the Hollowed Spear after the Peeble Eyebrow. And the Rock is eliminated. The big dog. 7,128 damage for the victory in the 8th fight. 266 XP, 12,410 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Arena Ultimate Warrior, Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose, and Icebound Watcher, Stone Cold. Silver cards gain a level of 20, and the gold card gains a level of 16. Let's give the matches now, 20,000 credits. Let's get it going! Game for the Ultimate Warrior. Warrior Rage blocked for 246. Ultimate Warrior eliminated. Dean Ambrose comes in. Furious Smackdown blocked into a machine gun garage. Lunatic Rage does not work on specials, only on basic attacks. Although, until I actually get the card, I won't be able to see what it does. The Stone Cold is in. Ice Cold Vengeance triggers. Stone Cold is at two bars. Big Show is nearing two bars. Ice Cold Strike blocked for two damage, only heals Stone Cold for one. And the Timber will be enough to get rid of Stone Cold for the victory in the ninth fight. So if you want somebody to no-sell, put blocking gear on somebody. 268 XP, 430 credits. So we're going to have to make our third roster change. We're going to put Nikki in Pyromancer Bella. Nikki Bella. And we're going to put Trish in Stratus. Angelic Trish Mate Trish Stratus. We're going to give her a piece of damage here. We're going to give her the Tribal War Paint. Trish Stratus. And we're going to recharge the Big Show. In the 10th matchup, we have Macho King, Macho Man, Solar Assassin, Nikki Bella, and the Authority, Stephanie McMahon. Gold card shifts to the left slot, gains a level of 17. The silver cards gain a level of 21. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. We go! So Injustice is version of Wonder Woman going up against Macho King Macho Man. <laughs> Macho King almost eliminated. Macho drop block for 370. Stephanie McMahon comes in. Here, pull Snapmare block into a tornado suplex. Not sure if they finally fix the damage, but it actually one shot somebody. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 274. Funny, 
basic attacks doing more damage than special moves, and the timber gets rid of Nikki Bella for the victory in the 10th fight. 270 XP, 450 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Lumberjack Big Show, Banshee Knight Page, and Evolve Randy Orton. Silver card gains a level of 22 and is only in the middle slot. Outer cards are level 18 as they gain a level. Skill of the match is 20,000 credits. And here they go. Trish Stratus and the Big Show starting off. Nikki Bella and Trish are rivals. But Randy Orton comes in. Who's that one bar? Let him his backbreaker block for 429. Let him his backbreaker block for two damage. One more clutch slam block for two damage. And we're gonna go some satisfaction. Actually, no, we're not. We also cannot knock people out from the ground. Cobra Clutch Slam block. We're gonna wait for the big defense to go away. Second Cobra Clutch Slam. We're gonna go some satisfaction, and the big show is about to have a bone. Satisfaction. Page comes in at two bars. Probably gonna use the dark throw. I don't understand how that's a block right there. That's kind of stupid. So we're gonna go off the KO punch, and Page is eliminated. I'm a 6,791 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 272 XP, 470 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against Pantheon Big E, Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold, and Evolve John Cena. Cards remain at 18 and 22. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. It looks like gold cards will top out at level 20 in the 14th fight. It begins. Who'll come out on top? So Big E is the only silver card. Healing for 17. Which is very weak when you're taking 287 damage a hit. Big E is at one bar. He's probably going to be able to get out. Strongman crush block. No, he will not. So John Cena comes in. Has the effect of blessing of strength for 10 seconds. Which is a 33% damage increase per stack. And as you saw in my Stephanie McMahon video, you can get crazy numbers using her along with Strongman Big E. Not practical for multiplayer, but incredibly fun. Synergy there. Cena Plex Block, we're going to the Tornado Suplex, and normally the pre patch version sucked so badly that John Cena would be able to survive that, but as you saw there, not the case. For the road block for 371. And another tornado suplex on Stone Cold. 6096 damage, so they finally fixed it, as it used to only do about half the damage. 274 XP, 490 credits. So we're going to make one final roster change. How much health does... Oh, 8,000, ain't bad. So we are going to put in... Undertaker. Necromancer Undertaker, Undertaker. Deadman Undertaker. And we're going to put Big in Show. Enlightened Undertaker. Big Show. Now for the final fight, we're actually going to put in both Stephanie and Mans. And we're going to see if we can do the fight with that Undertaker. roster. Just for fun. 
So in the 13th matchup, we have Necromancer, Undertaker, Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, and no, 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 Daniel Bryan. Gold cards gain a level of 18, the silver card gains a level of 23. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Ah. Yeah. Undertaker does have a lot of health. Now, the Lightning DDT is a really good level symbol. Also has an adrenaline drain component. Choke slam block for 347. That's probably the way that Undertaker can deal with Daniel Bryan when he comes in momentarily. Now, Undertaker's basic damage sucks until he knocks out two opponents. Then it's actually pretty good. But that 1200 health is a lot to go through. Now the main strength of the Enlightened Big Show is the fact that he heals the whole team for 1% health a second, although it seems like a lot more than that. So Daniel Bryan is in. Bryan gets to block for 380. And now you see the Undertaker hitting for 25% more damage, up to 311. Brock Lesnar is in. Brock Lesnar will probably waste his level 2 move. There it is with the Beast of Rage. For some reason when people have personal buffs, they like to waste it on themselves. Brock Lesnar getting low on health. Brock Lesnar eliminated. Dragon Screw Block, we're gonna get in the Big Show. And we're gonna go the Hammer Fist on Daniel Bryan. See, that is a pretty high damage move. Almost wipes him out. Dragon Screw Block. Undertaker pretty much at full health. So we're gonna go off the Tombstone Pile Driver. And Daniel Bryan is eliminated. Be prepared for 5,417 damage for the victory in the 13th fight. 276 XP as Dead Man Undertaker levels up to 39. 510 credits. In the 14th matchup, we have Hound of Justice, Roman Reigns, Evolve Page, and Skull King Triple H. Middle card is level 20, but the outer cards are only level 18 gold. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. And here I really they go. don't want to use Enlightened Victor while Skull King Triple H is in, unless he's already tagged in as Triple H will do damage to opponents that come in to face him. But I'm pretty sure that would actually negate it. I'm actually kind of curious. I'll probably test it out. Undertaker at a bar, as is Evolve Page. Nancy Rage blocked for 627. More than likely, Page will not get off her magical synergy as she does not like to use level 2 moves. Banshee Rage Block, we're going to go off the Lightning DDT, and that should be enough to get rid of Page. Yes, it is, so Roman Reigns comes in. I'm going to take this time to heal up the Undertaker. Machine Gun Barrage is going to probably wipe out the Big Show. Actually, no, it's not. That massive amount of health saved him. Hammer Fist on Roman Reigns will do some damage, however. That wipes him out. That does a lot of damage. Skull King Triple H is at two bars. Burning Blast blocked for 547. We're going to get Undertaker. So 190 for the Undertaker is taking damage. It doesn't seem to be hitting them that hard. So we're going to go off the Tombstone Pile Driver on Skull King Triple H. This should put him at about one half health. Rest. In Puts him down to about one third. So now we're going to get in the Big Show. So it appears that the Big Show is healing faster than Skulking Triple H's damage, but it does have a negative effect, obviously, as instead of gaining health, he really doesn't. Face Buster blocked into a hammer fist, and Skulking Triple H is eliminated for the victory in the 14th fight. So as you can see, just like Lumberjack Big Show, the Enlightened Big Show has a really good level 2 move. 2,780 XP, 530 credits. And he almost has more damage than the Undertaker, about 20 levels lower. 
So this Big Show definitely has really good stats overall. So now we're going to put in we're going to put in McMahon. Stephanie McMahon Stephanie along McMahon. with the authority Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon. McMahon. We're going to give Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Tribal War Paint. Stephanie McMahon, Big Show. And we're going to give Enlightened Big Show the payback here. Big Show, Stephanie and McMahon. Finally, with the authority, Stephanie. Actually, I think we'll give her the payback. Stephanie here. McMahon, Big Show. And we'll give Enlightened Big Show the Ultimate WrestleMania 2015 here. And we're going to see if we can get some power drains off. So in the 15th matchup, we have Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon, 5,850 damage, 8,288 health. Card is level 22 gold. Skip the match is 30,000 credits, and modifier was Adrenaline it begins. So Who'll come out Stephanie on top? McMahon start with one bar. Air pull snapmare block for 819. Third Guffy, Cobra Front Slap. And the WrestleMania gear did trigger an adrenaline game drain. It should be about a bar. Air Pulse Snapmare Block for 819. So we're going to get Stephanie up to a bar before we actually do that. And now with Stephanie McMahon, the ally buff is 10% health. So we're at one bar. We're going to try to get off the Cobra Clutch Slam, which got blocked, unfortunately. And that Cobra Clutch Slam does connect. Did not power drain, however. Red Pulse Snapmare blocked the 702. Stephanie and Gamans are at two bars. We're gonna have to billion dollar smack. That'd be something Shane McMahon would do. And we're gonna go the Warrior Queen ambush, which got blocked. Air Pulse Snapmare blocked for 702. And we're going to another Cobra Clutch Slam. We're going to see if it power drains this time. And no, it did not. Air Pulse Snapmare blocked, but it did also crit. And Stephanie McMahon eliminated for the victory in the 15th fight. 3,360 XP, 1,100 credits. So the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Challenge Battle 5 on standard difficulty is completed and we will actually receive a promotion since we bought the pack. So base stats are 975 damage, 850 health, which is pretty weak. If you have completed the challenge, the challenge will now reset so you can play it again. Enemies will be tougher this time around. So we're going to go into the store. And as you see, Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon still costs 220,000 Immortal Coins, even though she has very subpar stats, just like Hound of Justice Roman Reigns. But I guess they figure her passive is really strong. And don't get me wrong, it can be really good, especially when you're using no, no, no Daniel Bryan. And unfortunately, I still don't have Dean Ambrose in the store, so that'll probably happen when the challenge expires in nine days. And if we were to promote Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon Stephanie at McMahon. level 12, damage goes from 3,218 to 4,826. Health goes from 2,992 to 4,488. If you like this video on the Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon full five battles on standard difficulty, also showing off the overpowered payback gear, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other WWE Immortals videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shona. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shona. Subscribe, bitches!